a functional engine that consists of only 16 E atoms. Swiss scientists have developed a functional engine molecular, which consists of only 16 atoms. The engine is about 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair and seems to work at the border between classical physics and the quantum world. An engine consisting of only 16 atoms, was developed by a team of researchers from IMPA, Swiss Federal Laboratories for Materials Science and Technology, and EPFL, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. A detailed description of the structure was published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Basically, the molecular machine works in a similar way as its counterpart in the macro world, i.e. it converts energy into directed movement. Such molecular motors also exist in nature, for example and form the myosin. Myosin are motor proteins that play an important role in muscle shrinking and transporting other molecules between cells and the living the organisms. This brings us closer to the maximum engine size limit molecularly, explained Oliver Groening, head of the research group from IMPA. The engine it measures less than 1 nanometer, which is about 100,000 times smaller than diameter of human hair. A 16 Newton engine, as well as its much larger the version, consists of a stator and a rotor, i.e. a fixed and movable part. To the engine has actually done useful work, it is important that the stator it made it possible to move the rotor in only one direction, explained Groening. And so too it's going on. Scientists have built a stator with essentially triangular a structure consisting of six palladium atoms and six gallium atoms. The ertor is a symmetrical molecule of acetylene, which consists of only two carbon atoms and two protons. It can rotate continuously. Small motor can be powered by both thermal energy and electric, but with different results. Thermal energy causes directional the rotation of the engine is converted into a rotation in random directions. For example, in room temperature, the rotor rotates completely randomly at several speeds millions of revolutions per second. Electricity generated by scanning electron microscope from the end of which a small current flows into a tiny engine can cause directional rotation with 99% stability. The energy of a single electron is sufficient to the rotor could move, but the greater the amount of energy supplied, the higher the frequency of motion and at the same time more likely that the rotor will start move in a random direction. Our engine has 99% directional stability, which it distinguishes it from other similar molecular motors, said Groening. As the authors of the invention claim, it is much more practical than previous molecular motors. Ultimately, it can be used not only to drive small machines, but also to obtain energy in the nanoscale. During the research, the researchers observed some singularity. To the a minimum amount of energy is required to start the rotor. If it is delivered electricity or heat is not sufficient, the rotor should stop. For example, when cycling, when we stop spinning pedals, I don't think we'll expect us to go this way under, up the hill. But the developed mini-engine can somehow to overcome these limitations. Scientists during scanning checking through a tunnel microscope, or their motor, they discovered that the rotor moved even with small amounts of thermal or electrical energy, oh much smaller than should be required to run it. Scientists point to a phenomenon called tunneling quantum, or the passage of a particle through the potential barrier with a larger height than the energy of the particle itself. From the point of view of classical physics, broken here is the principle of energy conservation. But the quantum world allows it. He is believed, that quantum tunneling is frictionless, but if it were, rotor it would rotate in any direction at random. 
The fact that he prefers one direction from a 99% probability suggests that energy is lost during that process. The engine can enable us to investigate the processes and causes the dispersion of energy in the processes of quantum tunneling, said Groening. Scientists hope further research on the little ones the engine will help to better understand the phenomenon of quantum tunneling. If it is it will work, this small engine can be used to generate constant energy for other small systems. Pavlov's dog what was the experiment? Research on the conditional reflex and other experiences. Ivan Petrovich Pavlov is a Russian physiologist who in 1904 he received the Nobel Prize in Medicine. All thanks to the groundbreaking discovery of the conditional reflex. He laid the foundations of theory conditioning and other discoveries that influenced the development of research with the digestive system. Experiments on dogs allowed Pavlov to discover that the application animals of food are caused by the secretion of saliva. This reaction was called with an unconditional reflex. Going forward, Pavlov joined the food serving a sound stographic. Over time, he noticed that dogs identify a given sound with food and drool in response to sound even when it is not accompanied by this, food. However, studies on conditional reflex were not the only experiments. The Pavlov he led on dogs. Ivan Pavlov conducted research on dogs, thanks to which he discovered the existence of a conditional reflex. Conditional reflex is the so-called acquired reaction, and unlike an unconditional reflex, which is an automatic response to stimuli, Examples of unconditional reflexes, vomiting, reflex vomitive, knee, gripping in a newborn, just salivating while eating. The reflex this one can be created on the basis of an unconditional reflex through regular, systematically repeat a specific activity and associate it with another. In the, the case of Pavlov's dogs was the secretion of saliva to the sound of the bell. The reflex the one that is created on the basis of an unconditional reflex is also called a reflex Pavlov or a classic conditional reflex. There is also the concept of instrumental conditional reflex. In the this case, the conditional reflex may arise when it is not based on the unconditional reflex. It was discovered that the specific reaction of a given object can be forced by habit. For example, an animal that is rewarded by food, it is more likely to perform an activity than an animal that is punished for its disobedience. The condition is to associate the activity with another and awareness the benefits. Conditional reflexes do not only apply to animals, but also to animals people. In everyday life, learned activities are performed. They are, for example, Washing hands when you return home, lock the door on the exit or extinguishing the light. It often happens that after doing these activities people do not they remember that they took place this is proof that they were made mechanically, in a learned way. During the experiment, Pavlov used medical knowledge, which he gained through years of education and apprenticeship. Here's how a researcher he performed specialized measurements of saliva extracted by dogs. The time Pavlov was carefully inscued the mucous membranes of dogs, and then he introduced funnels into the canals of the saliva. The FENK the saliva was designed to collect saliva, which in natural circumstances it would accumulate in the dog's musk kind. The slinish she was sewing into special containers, thanks to which Pavlov could measure quantity secreted fluids. The treatment performed by the researcher was short and theoretically non-invasive for the dog. However, it turned out that some of the dogs opposed to carry out the procedure. Agitated, under the influence of emotions, dogs secrete more saliva than under normal conditions, and this may have affected the falsification results of the experiment. 
In addition to research on conditional reflexes, Pavlov conducted other experiments on dogs before. Not all tests carried out the scientist was carried out without harm to the animals. One of the first experiments he did Pavlov, consisted in the transmission of acquired human diseases to animals. It had this is to find a cure for human diseases. In the achievements of the scientist is, among others, the production of a canton in the dog's stomach, to be a reproduction of the wound the gunshot. Paul failed to achieve his intended goal and despite attempts restoring animal health, dog for the rest of his life felt the effects the mutilation. Another example of Pavlov's practices that have done permanent damage to animal health, for example, experiments on the brain of animals or putting permanent wasted on the pancreas. So